Hello beautiful souls and welcome to the second day of this catch up that we have in December. Thank you for joining me and thank you for following my YouTube channel. My name is Fereniki Cantarzi and I'm a self-love and confidence coach. I help people with believing in themselves. I have gone through, as I mentioned on my first video, so if you missed that, go and watch it right now, um, a bit about my story and how I became a self-confidence coach. But I do believe that at the core of anybody that wants to achieve great things and hasn't been able to do that yet is lack of self-love, lack of self-belief. We are not... So many of us, we're not pursuing our dreams because we believe they're out of reach, that because we think that we won't be able to achieve them. That's why we don't work on them. So I believe that the core thing, the missing piece for anybody that wants to achieve incredible things and feels like there's more in their heart, in their soul to experience, to be, to feel, to achieve, is that lack of self-love and self-esteem, the belief in ourselves that we're capable of manifesting, of achieving anything that we want to manifest and achieve. So that's why I am helping people believe in themselves because I think, and I know from my own life, the missing piece was always lack of self-love. So if that's you, um, come join me for the next uh, 30 days within December. I will be sharing wisdom nuggets here with you, parts of my healing journey, and that would help you heal your own self and also have a clear picture and vision of where you want to be in 2021. So in 2020, we experienced so much chaos and havoc and I feel like in my bones that this is a way of the earth, nature, talking to us and telling us that you are not on track. You need to redirect yourself, human beings, <laughs> like you're not doing this thing right. So I feel like nature has a say um, in so many things that we're doing and we might have not thought about it this way, but you know, Mother Nature has the final say, and sometimes she's like, enough is enough. Like, let's get this thing together. So I think that's exactly what we're going through at the moment, and we'll see so many things unfolding um, uh, into 2021 as well. So it's up to us how we react to that. It's one thing what happens around us, and it's another thing what we do about it. Um, I believe it's so important and more needed than ever before to have authentic leaders, have people like you and I, where we have good hearts, that we are not um, corrupted, we are not part of the system, and we want to do and create beautiful world. We want to recreate, to re. Um, create a world that is more aligned to our own soul, that feels good, that we don't have to lie, that we don't have to, um, yeah, to, 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 to be something that we are not. We can just be ourselves and that is enough. We can create a world with more conscious leaders, more authentic voices, people that want to do good for the planet, and all of us together, we can create that new planet. Um, so that's what I'm here for. I am here because I felt called to share that with you. And I know that lots of you are also ready to step up and take that lead forward for your own countries, for your own communities, whether you are, um, whether you are leading a company, whether you're leading a team, whether you're leading your family, you are a leader and you can play an incredible role into this transformation that we're all going through. So I want you to step up and talk your truth. Say the truth of what you are going through and be part of this incredible change that we're all creating together. And if you don't know how, 
bear with me a second, we're going to go through all of that through December in terms of how to create change, how to lead, how to heal, because we all need healing, we all need more conscious leadership, we need more um, authentic voices, we want to connect back to our soul. We cannot go any way, any further from the ego consciousness that we have been operating from so long. We have been operating from an ego perspective which has to do with um, yeah, greed and money and not really connected to our soul and our um, divinity with who we really are. And actually, if you are interested to understand what is the difference between ego consciousness and higher consciousness, if you don't understand that, con that perspective or the, the difference between the two, I am happy to do another video. So if that's something you want to hear from, from me about, uh, drop your comments um, below and let me know that you want that. So I will create another video or anything related to what I'm saying that is resonating with you and you want me to uh, talk more about and share more. Um, but yeah, I believe that we are in this tipping point as humanity, that we are now expanding um, the people that are connected to their soul, the people that are um, connected to their own divinity will be able to go further and expand and will not be affected from the chaos that is going on around. And the people that are not there, that are very much connected in their ego, which is fear, fear-based, um, fear will just overwhelm their lives. And this is not a healthy place to be. It is not, um, it doesn't feel good to be under fear and it doesn't feel good to make decisions from that place. So yeah, thank you so much all for watching and I'll speak to you tomorrow.